click on preferences and then general settings this is where you're going to set up the title of your site and so on so just put in here the name of your site slogan etc so we'll just work our way down here and then our slogan okay, and then email address you need to change that site language module for your start page you can actually install a module like a news module or something like that and then you could pick it from here but in this case we're not gonna use one and then your servers time zone and then your default time zone which is probably your time zone the default theme you have a couple of different ones you can choose through here and we can change the theme I'll show you how to do that a little later whether to check the templates for modifications or not and then you can select the themes we're just gonna leave it a default for now template set is the set of templates that you're using currently with your plugins and so on so right now there's nothing in there about the default set and we're not going to use those either the name for anonymous users so we can just call them guests user cookies name we can leave that alone custom sessions allow you to set up customization like the session name and when the session expires if you want to use that debug mode should be set to off on a live site otherwise you get a bunch of messages come up every time you hit the page where they're going to use banner ads as a source of revenue and then of course you can turn your site off here and then who can access while the site is turned off webmaster and a reason the site's turned off you can customize that if you want and then your IP address won't count as any impressions on banners so if you're in the site often you should do that so that your your visits to the site don't get caught counted as banner impressions whether you use SSL for login be careful there if you turn that on and you don't have SSL enabled then you're gonna lock yourself out of your site and where the SSL login page is if you're going to use SSL well, how the comments are display nested flat or threaded Okay, and then you can ban IP addresses if you want. Module wide cache. You don't want to cache subscriptions or PD downloads, so just leave those as no cache. 